Shake. 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 They really need to seek you out and find that information out. in these departments because I am a new mom. I'm like mom life vibe. Good morning. I always look like a train wreck when I start these vlogs off and I'm so sorry. I was a little bit under the weather this week so I'm kind of getting back in the swing of things and I kind of sound like Donald the Duck a little bit but Finley says good morning. Good morning girl. Um, I just finished up my schoolwork, ate some breakfast, made some coffee. Took me about like an hour to go through this quiz and like adaptive learning thing. Now I'm ready to move. I still have a um it, the assignment is called dream journal and it's just like a discussion board so I got to do that later too and then that's really all I have to do for schoolwork and then right now I'm gonna go on a walk slash run I need to move my body and get some sunshine on my skin and then we're gonna pack for Texas which is what this vlog is mainly about and I want you guys to see my living room right now disaster dylan has all of our boots laid out over here dylan is the packer that's another thing about our family dylan is 100 percent the packer and i am so thankful for that there's a little bit of schoolwork left out over there i'm just gonna tidy up all these blankets everywhere <laughs> finley you're so cute you're so cute she's gonna go stay with my sister this weekend and that's just what this vlog is gonna be just kind of like a day in the life i made carry it into the hospital because i work tomorrow a little bit or not a little bit i work 12 hour shift but tomorrow's my last shift of the week and then i took one pdo day and yeah welcome back to the vlog my name is mora and my camera is not focusing It got like fog underneath it when we went to the beach for my family vacation and it's just not been the same since and nobody will like clean it or take it apart themselves without like it being like hundreds and hundreds of dollars so we're just gonna have to deal with it right now and hopefully I can figure it out or like TikTok it or something. Anyways I'm gonna go get that walk and run in and change of plans um a little bit of change of plans I'm headed to get my nails done right now. I just did a quick body shower and shaved like the lower part of my legs so they're not rubbing on anything prickly. And I'm gonna go get my nails done for Texas and my toes done, but it's not at the place that I love to go to, so I'm kinda like, mm. I hate getting my nails and toes done anyway, but I really don't like it when I have to go to a different place. And I don't know where my sunglasses are. That's another thing I'm like, about today. First world problems, I know. Um, but other than that, that's really all the like running around errands I have to do today. I'm glad I got up early and did my schoolwork because that's just kind of a good time consuming chunk of your day and I didn't want to do that later today. So now, like I said, I just keep saying so and what I'm doing, I'm just going to head over there and I'm probably going to get like a brown, tan, caramely color. Um, but yeah, that's what I'm going to do right now. Okay, bye. I also packed my headphones for when I get my nails done so I can watch a little bit more of YouTube. And then I packed this book. I know I was reading a different book in the last vlog and I finished it and it's really good. But this is the um, All Your Perfects by Colleen Hoover. It's pretty good. It's kind of like, I don't know, it's just, just such an easy read. I really like it. It's, I don't know if I'd reread it, but like, it's not really, I don't know how to describe it. I hate giving negative um, reviews to anything because I never like absolutely hate anything I always kind of find like a good a positive to it at least um, anyways let me get off here and stop running up the memory footage in here and let's just get to the nail salon 
Okay, I just got here. This one is called Luxury Nails and Spa. It would be like my second string. Like, I like them and they're still really good, but they're not my starters. They're not Diva Nail Salon Spa. So, I'm going in to get my nails done and I'll show you guys the finished product when I get out. Maybe a little bit inside. I don't, I never know if I'm going to vlog anywhere inside, but we'll see. Guys, <coughs> excuse me. Guys, my loyalty is being tested. Let me turn this car on because it is hot. Look at these. I always love my nails. I never ever complain about like getting my nails done. I don't know if this is because I got them for Lainey Wilson and I'm so excited for Texas or if because I just genuinely had a really good experience. Um, I don't know. The shape is perfect. I was like round and short. Make them look natural. I don't know. And it was cheaper than where I usually go. So like that's a better quality, better service, and cheaper. I think I might have to switch. I think my loyalty is being tested. But if Mr. Ken can't do it, then maybe I'll just come here at my other one. I don't know. I really like them. And my toes look beautiful too. And my foot massage was like amazing. There it goes. Unfocused again. I'm going to have to fix that before I do this whole video. But anyways, um, I love it. I love them, they're so pretty, they look so good. I know you guys are crooked right now, but I think they're gonna look really good because most of my um, Texas outfits are like super neutral or like creams and browns and stuff. There's a little bit of pop of color in some of them, um, but yeah, I think this will look good. So, I'm gonna go home now, maybe finish up like that discussion post that I was telling you guys about or do my walk and run or Actually, I need to text Mary and see what she's doing because I need to see her. And yeah, then I'll get started packing for Texas. Mary Lou, not having the best day, so I'm just getting her walking away. Bye, friend. Bye, friend. <laughs> I cannot get it right. And I get it right. Anyways, I just got back from lunch with my best friend Mary. We caught up. We hadn't seen each other in a few weeks actually. So it was good just to see her face. Squeeze her. Give her a big hug. I'm going to get this house in shape. It is time to tidy up. Maybe not really clean, but like put things where they belong and put them back in their drawers. And yeah. So let's jump into that. Okay, so here's the before. Also, if you're watching this channel to see like a perfect aesthetic every single day not gonna happen this is a real life and this is what we do and you're gonna see it be a cute little aesthetic in a minute but just not right now here we go crazy what a little tidying can do to a room. This is just a pile of towels that I'm going to get to wash later. And the only thing left on the counter is my scrubs for tomorrow. And then I'm going to hit the bathroom next because that is a disaster. And then I'm going to fold some clothes and laundry and put that away.
just finished the dishes and started working on my discussion post again. I've been working on this for like 20 minutes, but I'm getting super, super tired and I can't keep my eyes open. So now it's time for my favorite part of the day. I'm going to go take a nap in my freshly tidy room or maybe here on the couch. I haven't decided yet. I definitely need to close the blinds so I'll be able to go to sleep. But it's probably going to be like a 45 to an hour nap and then I'm just going to get back to work. And I have my outfits laid out for you guys. I've been going through everything, making sure I have like my straightener, my curler, all my camera stuff, earrings, contacts, hairbrush, shower stuff. Just going through the motions for packing and traveling. And that's really all I'm going to do for the rest. My nap was so good. You know, it's a really good nap when you have to wipe the mascara out from underneath your eyes. And my hair... It's like all down now, but I'll read that. I'm going to finish this last load of laundry, put that up, and then the house will pretty much be put together. And then I'm going to do a little haul of my outfits for Texas, and I'm going to pack them in the little packing cubes because the packing cubes take you so much further with your suitcases. It, there's nothing that compares. And then it'll be good, and then it'll be Texas footage. Sorry, Dylan's aunt just stopped by and she dropped off this belt buckle and it's like a Texas um, longhorn on it and she's going to let Dylan borrow it. I don't know if it'll focus. But he's just got an empty belt that he's going to put on it and he'll be so excited for that. I'm glad she had the chance to stop by and bring that. And yeah, um, just like I said, I'm going to finish with this laundry and then I'm still going to go on my walk and run later. I was just trying to wait for it to cool off because it has been extremely hot today. I do not feel like dying from heat exhaustion right before a trip. So I also need to get hydrated. So I need to get some water in me so I'm not lacking this weekend. And y'all, this living room, I'm so ready for it to get packed. It's a disaster. I'm so excited to wear my hat though. We got this hat made on um, our honeymoon in Wyoming, Jackson Hole. It has um, just like Jackson Hole printed on the side with a queen card. We had the belt added and then it's just a custom hat shaped in my head in the green felt. It was a teardrop style and then we had some branding done like there's a little brand there. Um, there's a little brand um, kind of over here on the edge but my favorite part that got branded was this little part right here uh, we got MGB Margaret Rice Blackman branded into it and I love it so here's to packing for Texas I'm trying to find the right filming angle I don't really know how this is gonna work out but we're gonna try um, you can see my living room I'm gonna try and just kind of show you guys everything that I'm taking with me and then pack it all into the packing cube so Okay, I'm so excited because I have so many good pieces. First, I think I'm just gonna start with like the boots that I'm taking. No. She will try to be the center of attention and I need the outfits to be the center of attention, so. Here we go. All right. Cannot breathe, but we're gonna get through it. So, I wanted to show my boots first and this is the first pair that I wanted to show. These are from Bellini. If they're the brand Bellini, but I think they're from Altered State, if I'm not mistaken. I got these for a Christmas gift. Um, they're just a tall white boot. They wear really good. Um, the threading on it is kind of like a gray, so it breaks up the all white look. But I love these guys. I wore these a lot on my bachelorette trip, and I have these to pair with a cute outfit that I'll show later. But this is the pair of white boots. They're from Altered State. I'm like winded, <laughs> trying to talk with this nasal congestion. And then this is the Dulce Vita pair of tennis shoes that I got for my wedding. Um, these were like what I wore after we said I do. They just got they just got a shiny silver band and some glitter on the heel. 
these are so comfortable i don't know if i'm wearing these on the plane i probably don't wear my actual tennis shoes on the plane and then just save these for because every now and then they'll give me like a weird blister like a rubbing on the outside right here so i may save those for just um when we go shopping but i'm packing these as well these are my tried and trues these were my first real pair of cowgirl boots that i ever got like years ago um i feel like everybody and their mother has this pair it's just classic it's brown gray black and white it's got the angel wings on it and the crosses they wear so good i keep these um these came with the boot box originally but i just keep them in there to try to keep their shape better because like my white ones you can see they like fall over really bad and it kind of leaves like a ow it kind of leaves like a crease right there so i could probably get like a pool noodle or something for these but it didn't come with this like these did so anyways these are my tried and true. I always wear these everywhere. These have the most wear out of them. Um, they're Corral brand. But yeah, I'm packing these and these are going to be worn a lot. Then I got these in Nashville a while ago and I've barely worn them maybe two or three times. But I love them. My top is usually always too busy for me to wear them. But I'm going to try to wear these more often because they have a cute little checkered pattern. I don't know like what this is on the bottom you know how some boots are like ostrich or alligator or stuff like that i have no idea what this is on the bottom but i just got these at one of the buy one or buy two get one buy 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 three buy one get two free or something like that anyways it's where it's like a boot place and you go in and you pick out three pairs and you only pay for the price of one but you pay for the most expensive one so it's a really good way to get a decent pair of cowgirl boots for a good price or if you want to split it up with some friends a really good price or if you wanted one for yourself you got three for the price of one so i really love that they do that in nashville and i asked them one time like how how can you sell boots this cheap and still make money and they're like it's the last year's model or just ones that people keep buying over and over and over and i was like okay so we're really all behind on trend and we're still buying from there but anyways I was just curious as to how they were able. These are Dan Post. These wear pretty good. They have a high arch. The bottom is like super sturdy. I'll focus so you can see. But yeah. I really like these. Hopefully I can get a wear out of them down there. I probably shouldn't bring this pair just because I typically don't wear these. But I want to try to wear them down there. And then this pair is my tried and true when I go riding. It's just... A classic American print with the eagle red and blue on it and then these usually this part is usually covered by some jeans when I go riding I have my Wranglers I'll get to those in just a second that I'm gonna wear when we go on the horses um, and I'll wear these obviously but these I don't care if anything happens to them because they make it through everything and yeah I don't even know the brand I don't think there is a brand for this one JB Dylan or something like that what it looks like yeah JB Dylan reserve that's what these are called okay so now for the little outfits I have and here's my packing cubes I just ordered these off of Amazon or I didn't order these I think these were actually a wedding gift that we got but they're off of Amazon I said that really weird Amazon and they um they're so deep I don't know it just makes packing go way further so I do have a bunch of these that I'm going to try to use and my timer's going off. I still have a few things coming in from Amazon that hopefully they'll make it, but I think I did order them too late. I have a suede dress. It's like a plain t-shirt with a bunch of cow brands on it, Some a pair of sunglasses, a pair of jean shorts, and what else? that's all that I'm like waiting on this suede dress oh jewelry a bunch of like Western jewelry but like cheap Western jewelry because I don't wear like this is what I always wear I always wear this gold band my Pandora ring that has like the little heart on it I don't know if that's gonna focus this camera has not been focusing like at all and then just like a pyramid Pandora ring there too and then obviously just my wedding pan I like to keep this hand plain keep the dime in the main focus on this one and then a silk skirt that I'm going to try to pair with this that I'm about to show you. And then a Zach Bryan like band tee. And that's all. But I'm still waiting on all of that. So that would have been really good stuff to put in this. Maybe they'll come today. Maybe they'll come tomorrow. Maybe I can squeeze them in at the end of this video. I don't know. 
we'll see but the first thing if that black silk skirt comes i am going to pair it with this and it's just like a little tie top put it on kind of like a jacket and then you tie this little guy in the front and it's so cute it's a knit material but it doesn't feel like thick it feels pretty cool but that's it it's definitely cropped but it like hits right where the high-waisted pants come up so it's not like a whole big belly shirt because I have a big belly so I don't like to show my belly but this is the material I don't know if you can see that or not but it's just like a wide sleeve at the bottom too I love this I hopefully I can wear it for Texas if not we have this event in our hometown called mule days coming up um, it's really really fun basically we're all just drunk drinking around town cruising um, hanging out in our campers, listening to people sing music, all the things. But this t-shirt I'm going to wear. I love it. I cannot remember where I got it, but I've had this forever and I've been meaning to wear it to something, but it's just a plain Budweiser t-shirt. It's the thin t-shirt material, so I won't be too hot in it. And I'm going to pair it with a pair of newly shorts that I've rented for the month. And this is probably what I'm going to go like shopping in when we get down there on Thursday and like do the little day day bar hot thing but this pair is what brand is this i don't know what this is i've never even heard of it i just like the cut and the rips in it emily short high rise six and a half vintage it's a dl 1961 it looks like what the brand is i can't really see it right there but it's just a nice longer pair of white pants and it has the hem cut at the bottom and they're just like shredded but I thought because it's so starky white and the Budweiser part is like really starky white that that would pop good together and then I will wear these shoes with that outfit and that's just what I'm gonna wear for like a shopping day like right when we get there on Thursday okay let's try to fit this in the packing queue see how many outfits I can get in one packing queue that'll be today's goal Next is this pair of Wranglers. Um, this is the ultimate riding jean. Um, they have a super stretchy waistband. They do not cut in at all. They feel so good. It's the Wrangler Willow style. Um, they have no cuts in it. I just wanted like a classic pair of right. I've had these for a while though. I got these from my bachelorette. But they have a nice boot cut at the end and then no rips. It's a great of it is a great color. Um, I'm gonna wear this with. Um, the first day that we go shopping, my plan is to get, like, a pretty cool Texas t-shirt. And I'm going to wear that Texas t-shirt with this just tucked in with, like, a big belt buckle. I don't know if I have. Oh, here it is. Let me grab it, too. So, we're fitting the jeans in that packing cube, too. But here is that belt buckle that I'm going to wear with it and just have the big t-shirt tucked into it. can't really see that's all for that. Next, we're also doing a rodeo when we're down there. So I'm gonna wear these rock and roll denim. They're the bargain button bell. And they're just super bell bottom wide legged. And they have this like super Western print on them. They're, they got a pretty good stretch to them too, like overall, not just in the waistband. These are pretty stretchy all around. And this is, the bottoms that I'm gonna wear to the rodeo. And then I'm going to put it with this t-shirt from Newly. It's from the brand, what brand is this? Oh, Free People, duh. It's just a cute little flowy top. Um, there's the back of it, it's got like a little triangle pattern with some ruffles right there. It's more of like a creamy top, but I just thought that'd be cute. I'm probably gonna get a straw hat made in Texas too. So that is when I will wear the straw hat with this little rodeo outfit. And I'll probably just pair that with these riding boots because all you'll be able to see is the brown bottom part of it. Next is my airport outfit on the way home. 
I also rented these biker shorts. They're just from Fourth and Reckless, but they're just like a knit oatmeal color biker short. They'll be super comfortable because I'll be so tired when I'm done. Um, so that's the bottoms for the airport outfit on the way home. And this is just a black t-shirt that I got from Amazon. It's just like a cute crop tee plain it's black it's really good it's a great staple to have in your closet if you do not have a black t-shirt or if you need to update your black t-shirt it's a great staple and then i'm just gonna wear this on top with my on the way hat on the way home but this is from anthropology it's just a super thick like button button down top but i'm gonna wear it open so you can see all of this and i'll probably wear that with my dulce vegas home I just like to be cute on the airplane too. Even if my hair and makeup aren't done, just being cozy on the plane. Cozy and cute is, makes for a better plane ride. So I'm fitting that in here too. I think that's gonna be it for this one. Let me try. I got all of those outfits in this one packing cube. I love them. I love packing cubes. Next outfit I have is, oh, the white pair of shorts that I showed you. I'm going to rewear with this tank top to the actual concert, Lainey Wilson. Um, it's, this is just cropped, and it hits right where those pants cut off to, so my belly won't be showing too much. And then it just has a cute little tie in the front. It definitely needs to be ironed before I wear it that night unless I find something else in Texas because we've been saving and we're gonna, gonna go big in Texas for shopping day. But it's just a cute little tank top of Mac. Have some um, nipple covers that I wear with this and then I won't have to wear a bra that night either. And I can adjust the straps, make them tighter if I need to. This just buttons right off. This just comes right off with a button, buttons right off. Anyways, moving on, that'll be part of this that those shorts will I'll rewear that with this little outfit that I actually am gonna go ahead and do that because I'm probably gonna be rushed getting ready I'm also trying to get a Waco when I'm down there because I've heard it's not really worth like a whole weekend trip going to Texas just for Waco because there's not that much to do and we have a day free of nothing down there so why not but I also just want to hang out at the pool with family so we'll see what we end up doing so I'm packing that and then I don't know what I'm going to wear these with, but this is my favorite thing from Newly this month. It's from BG, BDG. Um, they're just like a A-line short. They're ripped. They come up really high. They're so cute on. And now that I have a little tan from this past Labor Day weekend, I'm like excited to wear them. So hopefully I can find something to wear them with. I really, really want to, um, or at least like take a picture in them or something. I don't know, they're so cute. We'll see. I don't know if I'm gonna get to though or not, but we'll try. And then I always just pack a good staple graphic t-shirt my Spanx because when an outfit fails and you just need your Spanx, pack your Spanx. This is just like the faux leather shiny ones. Um, these have been worn so many times. I could probably do a new pair pretty soon. And then that's just like my go-to outfit. If something's not working and I'm like uncomfortable or having a bad body image day or bloated, I pack that. And then I also just have some like t-shirts pajamas, shorts, a workout outfit, sports bras, underwear, makeup, all the things, a bathing suit. I am packing this purse. I'm probably gonna wear it with quite a bit. But I got this from a Western boutique down um, town here in Benson, but they're closed now. Anyways, this is a Myra bag, and it's just got this fun cactus desert um, print on it with some fur. And then like a corduroy material with some threading and branding on the side. And it's just, it's a good deep pocketbook to have, but it's super Western. So I thought, why not Texas? And I never really get to wear it unless it's during like mule days or something. So I am definitely wearing it to Texas and I'm so excited for it. Pack that in there too. Let's see if I can get that 
and the pajamas and the, all the other things in there. But that's really all I have for outfits um, planned and like packed and ready to go. Hopefully all that other Amazon stuff is going to make it. I don't know. We'll see. I'll hopefully squeeze it into the end of this video if I can or if they come late tonight. But I don't think they're going to make it. I'm so sad. But it'll be fine. And yeah. And then the next few clips will be me working tomorrow. And next day we'll be at the airport. And then I think I'll stop the video there when we get to Texas and then do like a house tour because it's a mansion on a ranch and it's so cute. I'm so excited. And then we'll just do all the activities down there. My postures are really bad on this video, but that's all I have for right now. Um, I'm gonna go finish my schoolwork. I've been working on all day and yeah. Good morning, it is the next day and I just pulled into the hospital in the parking deck. I am gonna go in and get reports soon and then hopefully this 12 hour day flies by and then we'll continue the packing for Texas. <laughs> Hi guys, I just got off of work. I am super sweaty because I just walked with my jacket on from inside the hospital to the parking deck and it's really hot underneath here too. Um, I'm headed home now to finish packing my last bit of schoolwork so everything's done before I go and then um, less than 12 hours before we head to the airport to see Lainey Wilson. I'm so excited. I've literally been talking about it non-stop all day. I know I've been so annoying at work. Even my patients know where I'm going tomorrow. So everybody knows I'm going to this Texas but I did a few crazy things today. I ordered a pair of Tacova cowgirl boots and I'm so excited my friend Mary got the Abby style boot in um, white and I ordered the suede um, I'll have to look up the exact color um, but of course I'm gonna show you guys and put it in the vlog I'm so excited and then all of my Amazon purchases made it except for one graphic t-shirt which I can totally live with I'll just wear that for meal days but I'm so excited everything turned out so good um and everything got there in time i did send one thing to the ranch house uh and that was like a leather phone case because my phone case is disney and i know this is so extra but like i don't want a disney phone case while i'm in texas trying to be all western my favorite thing about traveling is dressing up to like the theme of where you're at or like if you're at the beach more of a coastal vibe or obviously we're going to Texas so like I really get to break out my western side or I don't know going to Wyoming we really we going to Wyoming we really got to like bring out like our ski like retro kind of styles I don't know Dylan's really good at like making outfits too so I just pulled out of the parking deck. I need to get off of here so I can drive safely home and then I will show you guys everything that came in the mail today. And yeah.